What up, YouTube? Knowledge of self determination. So, once again, I have to put another cave troll on fucking blast. Once again, today we have this guy right here. I'm not going to give him the benefit of saying his name out loud. So, we'll just do this, you know, with his fucking 22 subs. Go to his channel and see that he has no videos posted. What a fucking shock. We'll get to blocking this clown in a little bit. But what a fucking shot. He has 22 subs and no videos. The typical white supremacist, the typical white supremacist YouTube troll channel. This is the typical cave troll channel for all you guys who don't know, at least from my experience. So he's responding or commenting on the um, the video that I made, Racism in Mississippi for Jasmine Shepard. As you all should know about Jasmine Shepard, if not, check out the video. And there are plenty of others on YouTube talking about the same situation. But basically he starts off saying, the only, the only racism I see is black racism against whites. Are you fucking serious? Black racism against whites. Jasmine Shepard won the honor of valed valedictorian at her high school. But because Mississippi is a racist ass fucking state full of white supremacists, they made her split her valedictorian honor with the white student that is in the vid that is in the, the image here. They made her split they made them co-valedictorians. The black girl, Jasmine Shepard, had a better GPA. She took more AP classes than the white girl, which made her the valedictorian by the system that they go by to determine who the valedictorian is. But because they wanted a white person to be the valedictorian, not only did they make her share her valedictorian status, they made the, the black girl, Jasmine Shepard, walk behind the white girl and allow the white girl to give her speech first. And you're telling me that it's not racism. Me pointing out that white, that white supremacy racism makes me racist. This is the typical thinking of a white supremacist. Because they have, they're basically shooting guns with no motherfucking bullets. Basically, they have no fucking ammunition. So the only things they can really do is to try and convince you that you're racist because you talk about racism. It's the same thing that all the other brothers go through. All the other brothers go through on, on here. Any black man speaking out against racism, the white supremacists always say that you're being racist. They always say that shit. Every single time, Black Lives Matter is racist. Now, the organization itself, I agree with... Um, I agree with uh, 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 Town Biz on that. I don't give a fuck about the organization itself. Um, was it Town Biz or 7-8? I can't remember which one said that, but I agree I, I agree with them. Whichever one said it, my bad, fellas. But I agree with that. I, I, agree, with the, the, I, I agree with the statement, the, the, the ideology of Black Lives Matter. I don't give a fuck about the organization itself. But what makes the statement, the ideology, the ideal of Black Lives Mattering racist? How the fuck is that racist? The United Negro College Fund is racist. I'm not even going to go any more into that shit. You can pause this shit and read this asshole's comments if you want. But I'm not going to read all that shit. Basically. But basically what I did was my response to this son of a bitch was to um, basically put some, um, some actual facts down there. Some shit you can Google yourself. You know, the whole three-fifths of a human being part. Um, sorry about that, guys. The whole three-fifths of a human being. Uh, the 100, the 18 to 1, which which is now 18 to 1 racial disparity in the judicial system, which used to be 100 to 1. The Dress Scott case, black man has no rights that a white man is bound to respect, so on and so forth. The Tulsa, Oklahoma shit. All of this to this person is lies, and that's what they responded to. This story is as much of a lie as everything on CNN. So Tulsa, Oklahoma was a lie. The documented history of Tulsa, Oklahoma is a lie. You can watch a video on Tulsa, Oklahoma right now Right now, you can watch videos on Tulsa, Oklahoma, as we speak. In fact, let me see something. You can watch videos on Tulsa, Oklahoma, right now. You you can um, you can Google it. You can go right on um, YouTube. Type in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let me see. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. I thought I had it in here. It might have been one of those videos that was deleted just now. Um, hmm. It could have been one of these deleted ones. I need to go in here and check. Sorry. Let me see. Hmm. 
sorry about this guys. I, I was trying to find it so I can uh have a reference to um actually point you guys to of a, a documentary that I really liked on Tulsa, Oklahoma, but I can't find it right now. So my bad, my bad everybody. But anyway, there are plenty of documentaries on YouTube. Let's see. Tulsa. Plenty of documentaries on Tulsa. Black Wall Street, plenty, plenty of them. Plenty, plenty of, plenty of information on Tulsa, Oklahoma. Plenty of information. Well, you don't need to see all of that. But plenty of information on Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, so please get the fuck out of here with that shit. It's a lie. Everything I said was a lie. So this is my response, which I'm going to um, send to this motherfucker right now. It, it, it's not even, it's not even a point in me actually engaging in any further dialogue with this person. Everything that I said was a lie. Everything that I said, you can actually go in through history, Google this, and find this shit yourself. You can find out this stuff for yourself. I don't even... Man, get the fuck out of here. So, I'm going to go ahead and reply. Send this asshole this reply. And stay your white racist ass the fuck off my channel. You, this guy right here. I'm not saying your name because you're not getting no fucking clout off of me. Stay your white supremacist ass off my fucking channel. I don't have a problem with white people at all. But you white supremacist motherfuckers, stay off my shit, man. Stay off my shit. If you're going to come at me and try to tell me how how white supremacy is a figment of our, my imagination and how black people speaking out against white supremacy makes them racist, man, stay your dumb ass the fuck off my channel, man. I, and I'm going to do a video like this every time one of you stupid bitches come on my channel talking this bullshit. I'm going to put your dumb ass on blast so everybody else can see who the fuck you are and know to instantly block you if you troll the fuck out of them. Again, this is why I keep my subscription list private, even though you probably just saw a little bit of it just now. Hmm. Kind of an ironic situation there. But anyway, if you see this son of a bitch, block his ass, plain and simple. This could be a chick for all I know. But I know you're a fucking cave troll. Stay off my channel, man. Stay off my fucking channel. Oh, yeah, and um, let's see. Last thing. Huh, huh, huh. I could call, yeah, I could call my son a monkey because that's what people do when their young boy has so much energy. But if I call you a monkey, I'm a racist. Wake up, shake off the mind control, fool. Fuck your bitch ass. You call me a motherfucking monkey in my motherfucking face, you're going to be walking back home with a couple of less teeth, a couple of less fucking teeth in your mouth, you bitch ass motherfucker. You don't walk up to no grown, I'm going to walk up to another grown ass man and call him a fucking monkey. Get the fuck out of here. You can call your son whatever the fuck you want. I could care less what you call your son or what you refer to your son as. Stay your white ass off my fucking channel. If you think that white supremacy racism isn't a problem and that black people defending themselves and speaking out against white supremacy are the issue and are the true racist, go fuck yourself. And I mean that shit with every fiber of my being. Stay your bitch ass off my channel, man.